We are getting down this Tuesday. Del Marva Life's Decade a Day continues as we celebrate WBOC's 60th anniversary. Today, WBOC's Steve Hammond takes us back through the years as we get ready to commemorate the exact moment when WBOC first hit the air. Our celebration also includes a retro recipe. Steve's going to help us make a sweet salad that's still a favorite today. We're also hearing some tunes from the Times with help from John Pheasant. Also today, researchers are getting closer and closer to breakthroughs in detecting, treating, and preventing Alzheimer's. We're going to Copenhagen to hear about the latest advances. Find out why a lot of it may have to do with your sense of smell. Carrying a child has to be one of the most special moments in a woman's life. You want it to be a healthy pregnancy, but for many women, it's just not. That's because they're addicted to drugs. We're learning more about this scary trend and what's being done to reverse it. Another scary trend has men and women who fought for our freedom sleeping on the streets. And it's a problem right here on Del Marva. We've got the story of one man who took it upon himself to help these heroes. And we're hoping Del Marva Life's Sean Stryker helps us in our search for him this afternoon. Sean? Well, I'm going to help you out, but not too much. I'm hiding somewhere on Del Marva. Coming up, I have you three clues to help you guess where I am. Del Marva Life starts right now. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lisa Bryant. I'm Jimmy Hoppo. Welcome to Del Marva Life from Historic Studio D. That being said, if you know what comes next, just jump right up and join us in the fun. Ready? Here ready? we go. In your living room. <laughs> All of Del Marva's doing this right now. Woo! <laughs> I'm getting busy. You're getting dizzy. Is I gotta tell you, ball? I love the disco ball. That is awesome. I love this. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yesterday we you put it to the test, the Wonder Wax. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, obviously, you didn't try it. Uh, no. Do you like this? <laughs> Isn't this awesome? This is. I, these are a very special touch. Not to mention, please, you gotta get a shot of this. Right yeah. Here. Yeah. This? <laughs> this is this is not only more hair than I have on my chest. This is more hair than I have on my head. Oh my goodness. I'm just saying. I like it. And, you know, Carol's gonna want to run her fingers through it when you get home. I'll take it off for you, honey, and put it on the, <laughs> right there on the dinner table. Just have at it. Well, we want to start the show by saying <laughs> happy anniversary, WBOC. It was 60 years ago today that WBOC TV signed on the air. The days that make us happy make us wise. This is the 7 p.m. edition WBOC TV News, and once again I say I'm John B. Greenberger. It's a good evening. Isn't that absolutely incredible? We are celebrating the Diamond Anniversary all week long, and today we are all about the 70s. You like it? <laughs> I don't know. I think I... Oh, oh, we had to show this. There, speaking of the 70s, there he is. <sighs> 1977, my senior picture Oh, what a cutie. I bet you all the girls were chasing you in that time. Nope. No, not a bit. Well, not here's what I look like. <laughs> oh, Look yeah, at you. Now, yeah, there's was, a doll baby right there. This is also 1977, just saying. And let me tell you, I wish I still had that leisure suit right there. That's, that, <laughs> that is 100% pure polyester right there. You can't find that stuff anymore. No, you can't. <laughs> it's not anywhere. Well, the 70s were a busy news decade. OPEC doubles the mm. price of oil, thus beginning the gas crisis of the 70s. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. Oil went from a buck and a half a barrel to 11.58 a barrel over the course of a few months. Just as of this morning to let you know, crude is selling at just over $100 a barrel. Yeah, one thing I remember, Richard Nixon resigned as the 37th President of the United States. I have never been a quitter. To leave office before my term is completed is abhorrent to every instinct in my body. Mm, but he did. Once the article's impeachment had been drawn up, Nixon was required to release more tapes, which clearly tied him to the Watergate cover-up. We also get to wish an almost happy birthday to Louise Brown, born July 25th of 1978. Why is that a big deal? Here's why. Her parents, Leslie and John Brown, had been trying to conceive for nine years, and although the media referred to her as the world's first test tube baby. Actually, her conception took place in a petri dish. That just doesn't sound right. No, it doesn't. <laughs> and the changes of the 70s were reflected in a big way on television. Yes, yeah, sure. that's an understatement. A realistic police <laughs> drama following the lives of two officers of the LAPD veteran Pete Malloy and his rookie partner Jim 
read. I love that show. Mm. Archie Bunker, a working class family <laughs> man who held bigoted conservative views of the world. His viewpoints clash with nearly everyone he comes into contact with, especially his liberal son-in-law. You know him, you love him as Meathead. <laughs> I love those shorts. And the Dukes of Hazard County were jumping the General Lee in more ways than one. Dodge ought to have to go. Uh, poor thing. Daisy Duke wore the same shorts, shorts as, as Meathead. I think you you're that? right, yes. <laughs> so you should mention that. Well, the top pop music of the 1970s, according to DigitalDreamDoor.com, at the top of the rock charts for the 70s, it was Led Zeppelin's Stairway to Heaven. And Hotel California by the Eagles. And John Lennon's Imagine. Oh, that yeah. That's a great song. Yeah. yeah. According to rockonthenet.com, of the top six positions of the decade, <laughs> Andy Gibb or the Brothers Gibb held five of them only behind Debbie Boone's You Light Up My Life. Now, if you were a country fan in the 70s, you remember Glenn Campbell's Rhinestone Cowboy, The Most Beautiful Girl in the World by uh, Charlie Rich, and... Debbie Boone, you light up my wow. life. She crossed over. Well, fortunately, country music uh, went beyond the 70s. Disco, however, did not. It was July 12, 1979. A revolt against disco took place at Kaminsky Park in Chicago. A radio DJ led crowds as they burned records and other stuff related to disco music. Well, 1974 is when the government made laws to protect veterans and give them equal opportunities when returning from war. Fast forward to today, a lot of veterans still have a hard time adjusting to civilian life. One local man is trying to change that. Find out how. This woman is on a mission to change how many people view Alzheimer's disease. We're going to show you how she's doing it. A little later, WBOC's Steve Hammond joins us with a preview of tonight's WBOC's 60 years serving Delmarva. Oh, but that's not all. Steve's going to join us in the Delmarva Live Kitchen to make a classic 70s dessert. And speaking of classic, John Pheasant takes the Delmarva Life stage to perform some classic rock. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back. Delmarva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, Honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and LG dealers and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. <laughs> 